Hey, what's going on you guys, it's Nick. So the other day I posted a poll on Instagram asking you guys if you'd rather have photography tutorials for your phone or your computer. And you guys were literally down the middle, it was 50-50. So today I'm posting two videos for the same tutorial. One's for your computer and one's for your phone. And this one is how you can make epic warp speed effect photos all on your phone. Let's jump right into it. All right, so the app you're gonna wanna use is called Blur Photo, and I'll have that link down below in the description. Jumping right into the app, the first thing you wanna do is just open the photo that you wanna edit. And I'm gonna use the exact same photo that I used for my Photoshop tutorial, just to show you guys how powerful this app can be. So the first thing you wanna do is immediately go to the Effects tab and select Zoom. This is the effect that we're going for. Now you're gonna go back to Blur and begin painting your entire picture. Now in this case, the brush size is a little small, so I'm gonna go over to Adjust and increase that brush size to the full size. And I'm just gonna paint the entire picture here until it's fully covered. All right, now that is looking pretty good. The next thing I'm gonna do is go to the eraser tool and I'm gonna begin to erase away some of the blurring effects that we had on my car. And what you'll see that I'm actually doing here to make sure that I get a very crisp edge to the edge of my car is I actually erase just beyond it and then I'm gonna go back in and blur that edge. All right, and I'm pretty happy with that. Now, the one thing that's different about this um, compared to like Photoshop is that in Photoshop, you could actually change the opacity of that eraser tool. So in this case, if I take the eraser and I start erasing, it erases all of the blurring effect. Whereas in Photoshop, you could actually change the opacity of the eraser tool so that you're erasing part of that blurring effect, but not all of it. So you could actually have less of a blurring effect happening in some parts of the image. So that's why this tool isn't perfect, but for an app on your phone, this is really powerful, but we're not done yet. So what I actually just did is I erased away all the blurring that I had done on the road and I went over it again. But the reason for this was that when I went over the road this time, I only went over it one time. So by doing that, there is less of that radial blur effect happening on the road. Um, with the way that this app works, the more times you go over one area, the more times you brush over it, it adds more of the effect. So by only going over the road once, it adds less of that effect there. Now there is still one more thing we can do in this app to make this picture look even better. All right, so if you jump in over to the adjust tab and you go to the settings for the opacity, you can actually change that and adjust how the image is going to look. So we had that up at 0.4. I think decreasing that down to somewhere around 0.2 or even 0.1 looks a little bit better. I think 0.2 looks pretty good. Now all you need to do is go to the top right corner, save that picture, and you are good to go and post that to Instagram. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed making a lot more photography-related tutorials lately. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun, and uh, I have a lot of passion behind that. So if you've been able to get something out of these videos or uh, you want to see more awesome content, please subscribe down below. It really does make a difference in us being able to grow this channel and this community that we got going on here. So thank you, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.